Some global investors have seemingly observed a turn in China's economic governance recently. In addition to multiple antitrust probes and data security checks on the country's biggest internet companies, regulators have imposed tough regulations on the off campus tutoring sector and stepped up food safety checks on popular food brands. The intensive regulations across sectors have made these investors wonder. Is there a change of course in China's policy direction? How will the regulatory moves affect the capital market and China's economic structure in the long run? Analysts from global financial service firms viewed the regulatory measures as part of China's long standing efforts to make growth more sustainable and inclusive, which will benefit the regulated sectors and the broader economy in the long run. If you look back, You will find that all the policies can be traced back to the development philosophy outlined in public documents. Some people missed the signs or failed to fully understand it. For instance, social equity has always been a policy priority. This means the country has left enough room to push policies that are key to long term development. China would likely stay committed to attracting capital inflows. Promoting RMB internationalization in the longer run. For foreign investors, I see twofold implications. One is the attractiveness of investing in China Asia、uh, with the diversification effect, the other one is managing Chinese households'、uh, assets or wealth. And the Chinese government bonds also continue to offer an attractive risk adjusted return relative to、uh, some developing market assets. China's capital market reforms can also improve or at least ease the access for foreign investors to these opportunities. China is on track to meet its 2021 growth target of above 6%, with a GDP expansion of 12.7% in the first half of this year.